you are ever curious about that social media page, you can check it out and find me under underscore lady underscore Hannah. But anyway, today I'm going to be sharing with you a haul of what I have been buying recently at Kohl's and Hobby Lobby. So my husband Donovan gave me two gift cards, well three actually, one Starbucks gift card for my recent birthday, which was on December 18th. And oh my gosh, I freaking love the Starbucks drinks, some of them anyway. So I've been enjoying that. And then he gave me a $250 card to Hobby Lobby for Christmas. What? I live for Hobby Lobby, you guys. Oh my gosh, like if I could purchase a store, I would buy Hobby share it with you all of course and then let's see he gave me a $200 gift card to Kohl's <sighs> yeah I do love materialistic stuff probably too much and he just he just he knows the keys to my heart <laughs> anyway let's get into it okay so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna probably just I'm gonna like try and talk about themselves as well as like catching you up on life. We'll see how this goes. Um, I hope my face looks okay because <clears throat> I actually am trying a new makeup. Um, it's like the BB cream or something like that. And these are just the, like, these are literally the cheapest press on nails ever. And I have this little glob of glue and I just like, you know, just keeping it like a simple and fancy at the same time. So, okay.
actually living in the car shop instead. <laughs> like, I, I don't get it, but you know, that's just life sometimes. Um, so it turns out I have a blown head gasket in my car. Donovan has his car and I have my car. So we're living at the car shops again. But uh, anyway, I, long story short, I'm going to keep my car instead of like trading it in or selling it. We're just getting a new car. And we're, we've got some good connections because we have been able to find a new engine for it and a mechanic. So we're just, you know, just taking care of the car life. I mean, you never know when car troubles come up. It's just life, right?
shop at Walmart a lot, so I, uh, I get to see this issue, like, all the time, and it irks my chain. It gets under my skin. It is literally uh, my biggest pet peeve in life. <laughs> so, uh, whenever I go to Walmart now, I, more so than not, I just decide to go ahead and help people out, and I put those shopping carts away, like, lots of them. And then the cart guy will come out and be like, oh, like, thank you so much. Can I help you? I'm like, yeah. And I will apologize. I'm like, I'm so sorry that everyone is choosing to be lazy. They're about returning their lovely and very helpful shopping carts in the outside stalls. So, um, yeah, and a little story time. Um, at the next town over, actually, I, I, I was shocked out of my wits. I was like, I did not just see that. There was a lady who took her shopping cart. She was actually not even that far from a, a car stall in her like vehicle. And then she goes up and parks it on the sidewalk. I was like, you know what? I, I have to do this. I have to call her out. So I respectfully and nicely said, oh, ma'am, excuse me. That's not where your cart goes. She's like, oh, well, I have a screaming baby. I, I can't. So and then she quickly goes back to her vehicle faster than when she put the cart there. Know, people have crying babies, have lots of kids, have issues. You know, I know that there's like the elderly, there's there's lots of things. I get that. So my thing is like, well, let's uh, let's help let's help them somehow. I don't. I'm not really sure how, but there's got to be a way. So I told the lady, I was like, well, okay, I'll, I'll put it away for you then, and I did. It's not that hard. Yes, I know it rains, but here's the thing: when these carts are left all over, guess what? They are going to crash into another vehicle, and they do. They get into the way of where the where everyone is a driver needs to drive, and uh, and the people can't you know walk as well because we have these carts just everywhere, and the people cannot park because they're in one of the um, areas that you're supposed to park in. So. One of my passions in life is ending a lazy car syndrome, and I appreciate the car narc so much. Okay, enough about that rant. But, um, let's keep going on. Do some more lovelies. Do some more lovely triggers. Triggers, triggers, triggers. I actually went to Hobby Lobby at a perfect time because they have some Christmas sales, you know, because they're clearing C now for the year, so I got these adorable cute.
neighbors on that side. There are so many dogs in our neighborhood. I cannot keep up. And then there's a dog over on that side. Just can't even well visit our house. A uh, little like uh, kind of a dog that comes here like all the time. Wow. Maybe the dog's going back. And the neighbors around here are so sweet to our cats. I mean, I'll like, I, it's hard because the dogs like want to like kind of play around and scare our cats. So it's like you want to be nice to the dogs, but then you're like, you need to go back to your house, you know? And this is a dangerous area because we live on a corner and everyone's like driving by all the time. 
Year's Eve and a happy 2020. I will post ASMR videos when I can, as I can. I'm sorry, there's just not as much anymore. But thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you all.